HVAC 16. Can you explain the derivation of the ratio Q2 to Q1 equals T2 to T1? Where does this come from? Sure. So uh, just for context, for uh, kind of reminder, um, this problem was about a fan that was used at standard temperature and pressure, and then is being utilized at a higher temperature. So the problem starts by asking you to figure out the air horsepower based on the efficiency and the brake horsepower, both of which are given. So through that, we get the air horsepower. And then we set that equal to the volume flow rate times the delta P times uh, divided by constant 6356. And we know the delta P in the problem and we found the air horsepower already. So we're able to specify the volume flow rate. The problem is that volume flow rate, which turned out to be 11,918 CFM, is assuming that the fan is operating at 77 degrees Fahrenheit. But in fact, the fan is actually operating at a higher temperature, 110 degrees Fahrenheit. So the question is, is this fan going to move more air, less air, or the same air? And how do you know? Anyone want to take a shot at that? What was the original Q? Uh, 11,918 CFM when it's operated at this temperature, T1, but it's going to then be used at T2. Uh, it's got to be uh, greater based greater. on the ratio. Yeah, why? Because if T2 over T1 is bigger or smaller, well, then if Q, Q2 would have to be bigger as it is over a smaller Q1. Yeah, well... Yeah, I mean, based on this ratio, right? We know it's going to work, no. but like, just like qualitatively, why? Because the density is difference is less for the warmer air. The density is less. Yeah. Yes, that's it. So, um, yeah, we know T two is greater than T one, so we expect that the density for two is less than the density of one. Yeah, I like that. Or another way to think about it is the reciprocal, the density is specific volume, right? So the specific volume is greater for two than for one. So for a given unit of mass, we expect it to take up more volume. And then we can even take that a step further and say the amount of mass that the fan can move is constant, right? Because power has to do with, um, with the amount of mass that it's moving. So we could say m dot equals rho q. And then we could replace rho with um, one over specific volume. So q over little v. And then if the specific volume is going to be larger than the volume flow rate, because the only difference here is uh, time being included and maybe the units convert, but just fundamentally for this ratio to be unchanged, for the mass flow rate to be unchanged, they have to go up and they have to go up by you know, the same, the same amount at the scale line linearly. And there's even another way you could think about it. And I don't mean to confuse, I just want to give you as many kind of angles to think about the situation on. We could use PV equals MRT. So we could divide by MRT on both sides and set that equal to two. And then the, uh, R is just the specific gas constant for air and the pressure is not changing. And V, big V volume over M is specific volume. So then this becomes little v specific volume over T1 equals little v2 over T2. And then we could rearrange that, multiply by T2 on the left and divide by V1 on the right. And now we have a direct relationship between temperature and specific volume. And now it's only a small leap from there to say that this could be a volume flow rate and it doesn't have to be specific volume. It could just be volume. So if you're buying everything up to that point, then you could buy that too. And now the only wrinkle after all of that 
if all of that is, uh, is making sense, these temperatures have to be in Rankin. Absolute. Because if you just do 110 over 77, that's going to overstate the uh, degree by which that changes. You got to add 460 to both of these. And uh, 110 plus 460 over 77 plus 460. That's the ratio we want. That's what we'll multiply this by to get Q2. So not really a formal derivation there, just kind of a reasoning through. And I don't expect, you know, I don't want anybody to like memorize this or think that this is a formula. All, all I really expect you to do in this problem is to say, hey, it's a higher temperature. So the volume flow rate is going to be different. Is it going to be more or less? It's going to be more. So if you guys were able to get there, then, then you got it. 